So a little bit of breaking news just in. They are saying that some Newark residents were evacuated due to leaning buildings. So right now they're out investigating it, checking to make sure everything is okay as far as whether or not it had anything to do with the earthquake is yet to be seen. But you can pretty much say that that is probably the case because it wasn't leaning or anything beforehand. So I wanted to put together this video because a lot of people don't know exactly what it is we need to do in the event of an earthquake. Growing up, we were taught these things. I don't know what they're teaching right now in the school other than um, just leave that alone. Anyway, so stay tuned for this video. Click the like button, share it out, show it to your children as far as, you know, the smaller children, what you do, you know, if they're away from you and something like this happens, what they need to do to stay safe. Have you ever wondered what you're supposed to do in the event of an earthquake? Well, a 4.8 magnitude earthquake shook New York. It was felt all the way to Philadelphia. Boston, and Washington, D.C., as well as New Jersey. So here are three tips you can do. We went over this back in school days, you know, but I don't think they do that now. Let me know in the comments if your child or grandchildren um, have learned what to do in the event of an earthquake. Well, I'm going to give you three tips of what they say you should do. Everyone knows that once there is an earthquake, you're going to have aftershocks. So the northeastern U.S. was rattled by a 4.8 magnitude earthquake on Friday morning with people experiencing the quake in New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Washington, D.C. Here are three things you can do to prevent and help yourself. Well, you can't prevent the earthquake, but you could prevent further damage to yourself or your family and maybe even your home. So listen up. All of this is according to the U.S. Geological Survey and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If you're indoors, drop, take cover, and hold on. Avoid getting injured by falling glass and debris. If you're indoors, stay there. If you are able to drop onto your hands and knees, cover your neck and head and try to get under a desk or a table. Once there, hang on to it. If you cannot, get under a table or a desk. Move into a hallway or stay up against an inside wall as opposed to a wall shared with the outside. If you are in a wheelchair, lock the brakes, cover your head and your neck with a pillow if you can find one. And that will help you with the falling debris. Stay clear of windows, fireplaces, heavy furniture, heavy appliances in the kitchen where heavy appliances could fall on top of you. If you're in a high rise building, do not use the elevator as the electricity may go out. While the building or home is shaking, do not run down any stairs or outside while there is a threat of falling debris, objects, or glass. If you're outdoors, get into an open area. Again, you want to protect yourself from the threat of harmful falling objects by moving into an open area if you're outside. Once there, get down low and stay there until the shaking stops. Avoid staying near large buildings, power lines, or chimneys. If you're in a mountainous region, watch for landslides, falling rocks, or trees, and other debris that could have been loosened by this earthquake. If you are located near the ocean and severe shaking lasts for more than 20 seconds, evacuate to higher ground as a tsunami may be on its way to you. Also, use common sense. Do not wait for officials to issue a warning. If you see these things happening, walk quickly as opposed to driving to avoid potential road hazards. And if you are driving, come to a stop as quickly and safely as you can. When safely coming to a stop in a moving vehicle, avoid utility poles, overhead wires, and overpasses. Do not park under an overpass. Stay inside your car until the ground stops shaking. When you can start driving again, watch for collapsed bridges, rising water levels, falling utility poles, and pavement breaks. It near a sturdy desk or table. Drop, cover, and hold. When you feel shaking, immediately drop down onto your hands and knees. An earthquake is less likely to knock you over in this position and you are a smaller target for anything falling or flying. Then cover your head with your arms, clasp your hands around your neck and bend over to protect your vital organs. 
If you can move safely and a sturdy desk or table is nearby, keep one arm over your head as you crawl to additional shelter. Finally, hold on by gripping a table leg or other part of your shelter. Continue protecting your head and neck with your other arm. Remain on your knees and bent over ready to move with your shelter when it shifts during the shaking. Close your eyes and mouth to protect against dust and debris. Remain in this position until the shaking stops. After the shaking is over, wait a moment and check all around and above you before getting up and leaving your shelter. I hope that this was helpful and useful. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it out with your family and friends and anywhere on social media. And also subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you are returning, welcome back in Cousins. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos here on Tommy Bites Homestead, where we bring you news that you can use, gardening and homesteading, and lots of love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites Homestead.